Yes. My name, my full name is Daniel Kofi Safo AC. Daniel is my English name. As Bumani said, Ghanaians have a lot of names. Um, Daniel is a, my parents are Christian, so I have Daniel. Kofi is my day name. Every Ghanaian has a day name. And Kofi is a male born on a Friday. And Safo, I was named after a very good friend of my dad. Um, Safo means warrior. <laughs> so his name is Asafo right there. Okay. <laughs> yes. So Safo means warrior. And then AC is a, a name that uh, my father's father named him after a friend. So it becomes the, the same name. So my full name is Daniel Kofi Safo AC. But normally I just use Daniel Safo AC. Um, I don't normally use the Kofi in like um, schools and official documents. But then the Safo is a middle name and I use it often. So that's my name. And I'll introduce the driver. The driver here is um, Philip. He's a very good pay, pay, um, two pair save of hands. And uh, you can rest assured that you are safe while you're driving in the country, the length and breadth of the country he knows very well. And he's also assisted with um, Kofi here. He we, call, we say mate or the driver's assistant. He's also born on a Friday. He's called Kofi. So we have many Kofis in the bus. <laughs> and his other name is called Edu. 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 Yes, Edu. 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 The tenth born. Means the tenth born. Tenth Child born, born on the tenth, yes. Okay. Yes, so in Ghana everything has a meaning. Mm -hmm. So that is a, a, a quick intro. But then again, um, you are welcome. Very, very much welcome. Do you know that Ghana is actually the closest country to the center of the world? It is, yes. absolutely. Okay, so longitude zero degrees and then latitude. Um, five degrees north, they intersect at a place um, not far from here called um, Tema, where they meet. And the closest country is Ghana. So you're actually welcome to the center of the world. Yay. And rest assured that your journey here is going to be wonderful, memorable. And before you leave, you're going to have so much stories and so much energy to take back home. All right. Okay, there will be so many things that we'll be talking and discussing about um, in consultation with Bumani. And um, my main purpose here is to make sure that your trip here is exciting, memorable and all that. And then one thing on my heart is before you leave, you don't go with questions in your mind. Um, I'm here to share all my knowledge that I have and to make sure that um, I explain things to you. And if you have any question, that's why I'm here. Don't hesitate to ask me. So I am here for you. All right, okay. Let me teach you one thing. In Ghana, we say thank you very much. And one common way of saying thank you is medasi. So you should learn that, medasi. Yes, and medasi is one of the languages, um, the largest spoken in Ghana is the Chi language, spoken by the largest ethnic group called the Akans. Um, let me say this, I'll repeat it again. Um, in Ghana, we have over 75 different ethnic groups we speak over 46 different dialects and um, the the largest spoken of the ethnic groups are called the Akans. Akans are a group of people and we have the Akans and in Ghana um, most people speak the Akan language um, which is called Chi. We have different variations of Chi so it's easy when you know the Akan language and you could easily navigate around the country but English is the official language so English is spoken everywhere in the country um, it's taught from basic school all the way to university level so you are safe here yeah? <laughs> you can communicate all right you yeah. here so okay we have somebody who will be changing money um, and he's called Mohammed okay um, the current um, exchange rate is um, $4.7 to uh, um, a CD. And so if, if you want to change, mostly you get the full rate of 4.7 if you have the bigger bills. Or you can do better. Yeah. 4.7 is low. Do better. What's the best you can do? 4.7 is 4.8. Okay, so Mohammed is saying that exchange rate is 4.7 and so if you want to change money, you could see Mohammed. It's best to change money because um, you might want to buy something, shop, um, 
um, the official currency is called CD. And um, in some places they accept dollars, but um, in in in, um, in small shops, CD would be be the very best thing to to use. So you want to change some money, and um, you should do that if you have. But you don't have to change too much money. Um, change what you need at the point, and then you can also change again if you want to. All right. Appreciate it. Uh, appreciate it. Right, we're good to go. Thank you. Okay. All right. So we'll come down. Um, yes. Yeah, so one thing. Before you know, before we get down, um, our journeys will be involved in three different locations. So anytime we are uploading the bags, make sure that any bag that is very essential to you comes on the bus, not under the bus. Because when we pack it under the bus and you want to take something in it, it will be very difficult to take it out. So make sure that anything that is essential that you will need during the tour is with you. So that when we are packing the bags, um, we can put them there, and then when we come to the hotel and checking in another hotel, then you can take it. All right? Okay. And always, always make sure that um, you can find your bag when we're uploading in the bus, <laughs> because you don't want to upload all the bags under the bus, and then you say, I can't find my bag. I can't find my bag. That would be not too good. So make sure that your bag is here when we are parking. Okay? Thank you, Medasi. Medasi. Okay, this is what I wrote for you. Um, I didn't have four seasons, I 